Uh, as it's the start of the season, I want to introduce you to a new product that uh, myself and Paddy Smith have developed. It's, um, I class it as a field skinning hybrid. This is the, the do-all knife. It'll do both skinning and it'll also do field use. It has a slight curve going up, but the uh, fit of it in the hand, it fits like a glove. It's very safe knife. As you see here, it comes up, so there's no fear of the knife coming back on your fingers. It's, it's, um, the steel we've chosen is N190, which is a very hard, stain-resistant uh, steel that really holds a good edge. It's a lot more difficult steel to work with uh, compared to 127 Scanbook, which is another great knife steel. But this knife steel is superior. And of course, it's all been treated and tapered uh, by Paddy. Uh, you'll see Paddy's um, badge on it there. Uh, and that. But let's move on to the handle. As I said, it's one of the nicest fitting handles you'll ever hold in a knife. And we came up with this design. It's full tang construction with red liners. So not alone is it a very practical knife it's also a very eye pleasing knife um, the scales on this knife are carbon fiber and the bolsters in it are titanium everything about this knife is just pure quality one of the bolsters then is a little deer album there and that really adds to the eye pleasing effect this knife has like a knife has to be visually pleasing and I think this knife Stephanie has that uh, visual appeal and that. But the design of the blade, as we call it, the field skinning hybrid. It's the one for all knife that will cover you for both skinning and field use. So I'm gonna do a little demo here on this uh, prick that I've shot here for the 1st of uh, September. And we're gonna go uh, remove the feet with this knife first. So we'll remove the feet. Simply get the knee, bend it, turn it across, and as you see, just opens up those joints. Up across, tilting it. All the tendons just fall around and feet are removed as simple as that. Next we come to the back. Just make our cut for hanging, just up from the joint. You just see those tendons falling away or cut for hanging you see the reasoning behind the point the blade length is both practical everything about this knife has been well taught out from removing the bung removing the bung is a simple process with this knife because of the point. So one little cut. See how easy that is. All the way around. Clearing it underneath. Then at the side. Once more at the top. That way we don't rupture the bung gut. The whole lot is taken out, just like that. Next job, we hang our animal. Our animal is hung. Let's put on the now I'm gonna show you how easy this knife will remove a head. First cut, second cut, and around. How easy was that? 
absolutely perfect. Now, this is where the blade design comes into its own on the skinning. So, put our tray there for a drip. Just to mention, at this time of year, you can see all the ticks attached to the hide. This is something to watch out for. So just pinching that here, watch how easy this knife slips in. Up along. This is where the curved blade is coming in to its own. One sweeping motions with the blade. Up. Just goes through like, like butter. Then we come down here, we'll give a little pinch. As I said, this knife is a hybrid. It's between a skinning knife and a field knife. It's not quite a skinning blade and it's not quite a drop point blade. It's both, it's somewhere in between. And you see how well it functions on the skinning process because of that slight sweep upwards. And when you decide to purchase one of these knives, it'll come sharp and ready for use. And my, it will hold an edge. The steel we've chosen on this knife is one of the best steels that was available to us. Now we have there opened and there opened. So we're just using the curve on the knife. See how easy it will lift the skin. Just barely touching. Funny to you, only barely using the point and you can see the skin rolling back. That's the idea of a skinning knife. But as I said, this is in between field and skinning. It's the do-all knife. You won't need another knife. Not for skinning, nor for field use. For bunging, for removing feet, heads, and for grolicking. That's where the curve on the top comes into its own. See the way I peel back? And it just lifts the skin back. The knife makes it so easy with that little bit of a curve on the top. Now we have it to that point there. Now we'll just continue peeling back the skin because the knife has given us the start. Keeping everything pulled back. The same on this side. Just separating the skin and the hide. Use my thumb. It's very important, as I always say to everyone, that that flank meet stays attached to the leg. See, I'm separating the flank meat from the leg, then they're just peeling back.
And then I'll just pull backwards. Clear the tail. I'll just give another little pull backwards on both sides. Then use my body weight. See no meat, no meat attached to the skin. Lift it. There you can see my bullet wound. There's the skin removed. No meat on the skin. Now I just want to go through a few other little bits. Watch how easily this knife will cut through the ribs. Placing my knife there. Just slides through the ribs like they're nothing. Tidying it up. There we have it. Now, if you want a wood knife to do everything, the thought and design that went into this knife was really everything Every, every aspect of what it should do has been taken into consideration from the style of the blade, and as I call it, it's a field skinning hybrid. It'll do both, perfect in the field, perfect blade length for removing bung, feet and heads. The best steel that was available with the best edge retention, the most comfortable handle you'll ever hold, carbon fiber, and it's an absolutely lovely balanced knife. That's introducing the Paddy Smith field skinning hybrid. Hope you enjoyed that.